guys welcome back so as i mentioned um i did purchase the opre base color um edition that came out march 2nd um pretty sure you might have saw my review on the vivid color tips and i said i would come back and do this review i meant to do it like the same day or next day and i had another project i was working on and then i had issues uploading videos and lost a lot of content i even lost a little you know, intro to my video. So I, I had to try to recover it or redo it, but, um, I'm going to jump right into something. I don't even know how I should start this video. Um, I know if you're here for the review, maybe I'll try to add what time that the review starts, but I think this is worth tuning in for really quick. This morning I woke up, um, and ran downstairs because I was, you know, running around getting my son ready for school. And I saw a package on the stairs and I guess my kids had brought in something. And at first I thought it was my Kiara Sky package. Maybe they moved it to the stairs because I received that on Saturday. The box looks similar in size. So I ran back upstairs and I'm like, wait a minute, the Kiara Sky kit's in my room. What is this box? I look, it's a large box from Opre. Now, as you know, when I did my vivid color tips review, um, I did have a few like tips that were damaged. Um, and I was like in contact with them about it. And I know they said, you know, to, um, you know, send it back. They'll take care of it and send me some new ones. Just so you know, that's the follow up. They are going to take care of that. But I saw this box and I was like, it's too soon for them to be sending this because, you know, we just emailed yesterday and why is this box here? And when I picked it up, it was kind of heavy. So I'm like, I don't know what this is. I don't know if someone used my card and ordered something. Did I order something in my sleep? Because sometimes I do. <laughs> I do that. So um, I grabbed my camera and I'm like, let me record this just in case. I don't know what this is and I don't want anyone to accuse me of getting the wrong delivery and keeping it. So <laughs> I'm gonna show you what happened. We just got this package. I don't know when it came, if it was last night or today or what, so gonna open it on camera just in case I don't know if these are the replacement tips because you know I emailed Opre about those broken black tips in size 2 but I don't know what this is so let's find out that's kind of quick to be sending her oh my god oh oh my god <laughs> I just saw something. Oh my god. It says, we are sorry to hear of your treatment by another company that has come out with the copycat version of Opress Gel X Kit. We appreciate your support of our products and we love watching your videos and honest reviews and feedback. Keep up the good work. Here are some goodies for our next, for our most recent collaboration launch. Hope you enjoy them. Opera team. <laughs> oh my. Oh my god. <laughs> you guys. Look at this, you guys. Oh my god. This just makes me so excited. I'm like new to YouTube and I... <laughs> just a few months and like all these goodies have been flowing in from different companies. Not for that reason, but you know, sometimes people will send me stuff and ask me to try something out. And I'm like, wow, I just started in November YouTubing of 2019 and so I didn't think a lot of this was going to happen that quick and even the support and as you know the whole email couture thing even though I was chill about it it actually hurt my feelings because like I said I'm a huge fan I own a lot of their stuff and <laughs> the fact that I got blocked on Instagram from them for the whole thing and he never reached out that kind of was a bummer and to have to find new products but <laughs> you guys this is like <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. Oh my 
god. Oh my gosh. Oh. All right, you guys, I have to um I have to log off and do my other job. I actually have a whole other job that has nothing to do with nails and I am late calling in to this conference call. So let me uh, call in and do my other work and I will uh, come back and do like a reaction video and talk about this. Alrighty, thank you, bye-bye. Now, I don't know how long <laughs> you have been following my channel, but even though it says I started my YouTube in 2018, I literally posted one video, didn't know what I was doing, left it alone and came back around November 2019 to be in my channel. And one of my most viewed videos is on the Enel Couture 123 Go. Um, the issue with what happened with that company and the nail bending. Um, that's like my most popular video right now. And um, <clears throat> I know a lot of you guys had different opinions about the situation. And still to this day, I will tell you the honest to God truth. I loved that company and my intention was not to bash them or to go like viral or, you know, just to boost views on my channel or anything. Like I was actually hurt by the situation, as I've mentioned several times. Um... And if you're curious, the company has still not reached out to me yet, Max Estrada or the company. Um, I actually was blocked from Instagram um, after that. I don't know when he did it, but I was blocked, so I can't see anything. Um, I thought it would have been cool if he had reached out. I wasn't looking for his reaction, but um, I learned a lot from that experience, um, how I would do reviews going forward. And I was scared because I was like new to YouTube and I didn't know if I had broken some sort of unspoken code about how you do reviews. Um, so I felt bad at first because a lot of people thought I was trying to trash the brand and I wasn't. Um, but anywho, um, I I was overjoyed with what Opre did um, for many reasons because um, I may not have gotten an apology from Enel Couture or Max Estrada himself, but for a large company like Opre to take the time to um, weigh in on the situation and do something really cool like that. And not only that, to acknowledge like the fact that they're like, hey, we see you, we've watched your videos, keep doing your thing, we love what you're doing. And it made me feel really good um, because I'm a new YouTuber and I'm really trying to be honest and fair with these reviews. My intention is not to bring down anyone um, I'm trying to, um, you know, be as honest and fair and tell you like different price points of products and, you know, the pros and cons about them and why you should purchase it. Or maybe, maybe it won't be your first choice, but your second choice or, you know, how I would rate stuff. So that's not my intention to bring anyone down. But the fact that just to know somebody was watching, you never know who's watching your videos. So, um, as someone being a new YouTuber, um, I, it gave me a lot of encouragement, um, and motivation to move on and move forward with what I'm doing. Um, and I also just want to encourage you guys to keep doing what you're doing as well. If you are YouTubing, uh, just keep doing what you're doing. If you don't think people are watching, they probably are. You never know who's going to stumble across your video. Also, I want to encourage you guys that if you are having, um, if you do run some of your own YouTube videos and you'd like me to check it out or other people to check it out, please like drop a link to some of your videos in the comment box um, and share what your channel is about. So, you know, if anyone's going through the comments either today or a couple weeks, a month, or a year from now, they can just click on there and, um, you know, you can gain more subscribers and maybe help your channel get monetized if that's your goal or just put out what you're doing. So um, please, please, please feel empowered to drop in stuff, um, you know, about your channel. I would love to subscribe to some of you guys too. Um, so yeah, let people know what you're doing in the comments. Anywho, with that being said, <laughs> let's jump right in. Into my experience so far or understanding, these are kind of like, I feel like the structure and everything is the same on these tips. Um, you know, the box is different as I explained and I love the fact that it's clear because, I mean, I love the black box design it was super cool and stuff and it went with their packaging but as i told you one time i was doing um a set a couple days ago with the chan legend nails and i think i said it wrong in one of my videos i think it's chan legend not sean or maybe it was coming out weird in audio but i did a set a couple days ago and i ran uh i was down to my last two tips luckily it worked out and we finished the set but i do have to order more 
Anywho, you get 500 of these. The price point for these is going to be about $47. Um, and, you know, they're kind of a sheer color. I don't know if these colors officially have names. Maybe we can name them together. <laughs> but um, <laughs> this is one. My nails look a little crazy. <laughs> don't mind me. But do you see that? I think it does a good job for the most part. My nail is a little dirty, so that's not fair to say anything right now. There's a little dirt underneath that from something I touched or did. But I think it does a good job of covering this. Like, um, with me being a nail biter, it's important that, you know, usually that is covered um, on my nail so that people can't really tell or it doesn't look super crazy. I mean, I personally don't care at this point um, <laughs> what people say about it, but you know, if you do have nail biters and you're doing their nails, they may want that covered because it looks a little weird sometimes. So I like this. It kind of looks like a rose, rosy pink. I don't know. This is the color I was super excited about. This nude. I'm a huge nude fan, even if, um, like nude lipsticks and stuff. I love nude lipstick that's pretty much all i'll wear unless i'm feeling a little risky i might put on some red or pink or something crazy um so yeah this is like amazing it reminds me of um ooh, you guys <laughs> i just thought of an idea while i'm talking i don't own any kind of red bottoms but i think red bottom they have a shoe called like so kate or something i, I want to say it's i could be wrong but it's like a beige or like nude color stiletto with a red bottom underneath and um i think this reminds me of that like the color and i don't know it's shiny right now so i'm getting that kind of vibe and so an idea that you could probably do for this you could bond this on somebody's nail and do a red bottom nail. Just paint underneath with some gel polish here, put a little non-white top coat underneath. Red bottom nails, beautifully done, perfect color. You don't have to shop for the perfect, you know, nail polish to match that. So this could be some red bottom nails for you. Just an idea. Uh, let's go to the next color. I thought there, I think there's like five colors in here. This is a pretty, it looks like some kind of milky white color. Hopefully you're able to see this. Yeah, it gives me milky white vibes. Um, trying to see what you could do with this. Honestly, you could leave it like this. Like some people like white nails, especially in the summer or like a wedding nail. Or um, I think it would look kind of cool with some flowers or stamping if you did some white stamping on this it would look super elegant you know just my thoughts first impression what else do we have here you guys i feel like is this the same oops i think this is different okay Hold on, let me move some of this stuff. Okay. It's kind of hard to see. Okay. Let me just make sure these are truly different before I pull it out and tell you. I think this is different, you guys. I'm having a hard time <laughs> seeing. It's so bright down here. Um, This color. It's like a light pink. It kind of reminds me of lip gloss or whatever. Um, or like a sheer cover pink that people use with acrylic. Um, I also get like a bubble gum vibe from this. Um, so that could be, I don't know, maybe you could do some kind of design with that or some lips or something on it. Um, I don't know. Or you could keep it like this. I, I, I honestly love it like this. It looks super elegant and classy so i think this color is different i think i did grab all the colors out or whatever but this one um at first like in here it was hard to see or whatever but these are the colors i don't have names for them i don't know if they're on the site maybe i'll find out but they're pretty which one is your favorite have you guys ordered this kit yet did you receive your kit if you already ordered it 
Um, if I had to give an opinion on my favorite, it's going to be this because I'm a nude person. Um, and then if I had to pick a pink, it would probably be this, but it depends on the mood. Um, I feel like I just, if I wanted to be calm and just, you know, plain and keep it, you know, simple, I would go for this. If it's like summer, or I'm just feeling colorful. I think that would be cool. Um, also with these, you probably could do the, uh, what do you call that? French ombre techniques on these. I think it would look super pretty. I think a lot of people use, uh, like a sponge method to do the ombre, or you could probably use an ombre brush to try to achieve the look, but these are super, super cool. I don't know if I would do much to them. So I'm kind of having a hard time, um, expressing like the ideas like with the last video I did some ideas for you guys this one I think you could keep it super neat and clean you know maybe just go with your ombre or um red bottom maybe for this I think would be kind of cool um or just slapping some stones on it this might be cool with 3d flowers um if you're not good with acrylic there's um I think they're called like 3d gels or something 3d or 4d gels where you can take your time and shape the product and then um, cure it when you're ready. Um, so that's a good way to practice your 3D work. If you're not good with using acrylic or you just don't wanna use acrylic, there's these type of gels. I might be saying it wrong, but there's like a 3D. Mia Secret has one. Um, let me see if I can find it. Okay, so I found it. Can you see this? This is Mia Secret 4D Nail I don't know if it's plastiline, plastiline, I don't know. But if you see that, they have these objects on here. And it's like a, let me see if I could go with this. I haven't used this in a long time. <laughs> so bear with me, but it kind of feels hard. I, don't, I think it's because it's been sitting there and it's kind of cold down here. Or maybe this is how it's supposed to feel. I don't remember how it was supposed to feel. It's been like probably a good couple months, maybe a year. Since I've used it I think actually this is how it's supposed to feel and come out but you would take a chunk of this and um, you could like start forming your 3d objects and then when you're ready you would just cure it and when I purchased this there wasn't a whole lot of reviews on it I think I had to figure it out um, or I might have seen an instructional video on their site somewhere but it's hard because I think a lot of the Mia secret videos are done in Spanish so <laughs> I need some sort of translation to figure that out but a lot of it's self-explanatory if you're able if you're a visual person and you can just follow along but I can't understand what a lot of the videos are saying so um yeah also I don't know if you've ever used the Mia secret gel paints before I might have some still left around here they're good to paint with so if you're into um, hand-painted art and you're looking for something affordable I think they go for about six dollars some places sell them for ten but six dollars is probably what you should be paying expecting to pay so don't get ripped off um you know overall these are cool opera definitely you know gets plenty of kudos in my book for what they did um if you'd like for me to open up the kit stay tuned really quick but basically first impression these are super cool like the fact that you can put them on right away and go like it's amazing there's nothing I noticed different about the formula. I did see someone comment and mention they were having a hard time um, curing these. I don't have a suggestion for that because I haven't talked to Opre themselves to figure that out. Or was that, you know, just a one-time experience or what light they were using? I think I was in a group or something. I'm not sure. I think I was in a group and they said that they were having issues with curing it. They said it didn't stick as well, but... Maybe try a higher wattage lamp. There's all sorts of flash cure light options out here. So try that. I am going to open up the case really quick, quick, sorry, from the box and show you the other tips that I got. Um, just so that you see those as well. All right. So still, look, I still have this like confetti paper or something on it from the packaging. So this is sculpted stiletto medium, which is super cool because a lot of my clients, they're not, they haven't moved up yet to the medium <laughs> um or not medium they haven't moved up to the long they're still um you know they're in their training wheels trying to get up with the the long nail divas so um let's take a look at this really quick 
I've never had the medium length nails, so I'm I'm excited to uh, have these. I think my clients are gonna be happy. They're probably watching my videos now, like, oh my god, I'm gonna be there in a couple weeks to book an appointment. All right, so this is your long sculpted stiletto compared to a medium sculpted stiletto. That is so cool. That definitely doesn't fit my thumb. I think I grabbed the wrong size. <laughs> but that's how it would look on my finger, if you're curious. This is actually kind of cool. I don't really wear short nails, but I probably would settle for something like this. If it was just real quick and I didn't have time to design my nails, I probably would settle for this size and be okay with it. Or if I had to do a lot of work with my hands, I could settle for this. So that's cool. Let's check out these coffin long I'm pretty sure all my coffin fans coffin nail shape fans are excited because I'm always doing stiletto let's look at these oh these are sculpted too I'm glad they sent me sculpted for versus natural I don't know if they did that on purpose and paid attention that I love those or I don't know is it more popular but I love it so let's check it out this is your sculpted coffin long set so wow i'm excited to have a sculpted coffin long i do have yeah i have sculpted coffin long coffin long in clear that was the first set of tips that i ever ordered and then i have the chon legend ones so let me grab those really quick to help you out all right, you guys, so I pulled out my clear coffin sculpted one, and I pulled out one of these colored ones. Um, is that right? I probably didn't pull out the right size. Is this the right size? Oh, this is a zero and a one. But when I'm looking at the thickness of the nail, they look about the same to me. Like, I'm not seeing any difference. The length is exactly the same. That's where it's going to be a little more flexible right around your cuticle, but they're not, I don't have issues with my opera nails bending, so that's my experience, but, and I don't have to reinforce the sculpted ones. I heard for the natural ones, you might have to, but not for sculpted for sure. This is your Chon Legend Tapered Coffin Long, I believe. That's the official name of it. So if you notice, hopefully you're able to notice, just to see how much longer the uh, tapered coffin is it's a little bit longer if you notice and it's definitely like super sculpted um, but my clients actually love the Chon Legend tips I'm gonna have to re-up on another box hopefully it's still in stock but yeah my clients they love the Chon Legend but I'm excited to show them all these colors that I have um, or whatever but let's jump into the kit really quick because I noticed something that was different about the kit, aside from the color. Alright. Look how beautiful this is. Like, it's amazing. What? Oops, sorry. I, I unzipped it because I cheated earlier. If you saw my reaction video, I did peek in this. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's beautiful you guys ready all right wow this is the art me set okay see I love how they do include instructions they do that in all their kits you know because sometimes you may not have time for YouTube to watch everything and find out how to do it um, and it's good that you have clear directions in black and white so no one can change their process later and try to say that they did they uh that you did it wrong so this is cool um i'm glad i actually got another one of these because i did purchase one but i lost the i lost the thing for it i do like the light i think it's like beautiful um i have a couple of well of those lights so now i have one for travel maybe um, I have one for backup use and one for main use and 
who knows? Like, <laughs> I have a lot. You can never be overly prepared. This is the kit. If you have, you know, purchased from Opre before or you follow them on Instagram, you, you know, you're familiar with this. So the pH bonder is the same. I have like the original black kit. This is cool. This primer, I don't know if this is like a one-time thing where they change the label or is it always going to be changed? Mine's a little dusty. Don't judge me. But this is what I have. So if you notice, it's different. I actually like this one better. I think it's cool. And that's assuming nothing rubs off on it, like the paint. But even if it did, it's super cool. I like I like that better. It looks, it goes well with the kit. I don't know if that's a one-time thing or what. So you get your file as usual. Oh, it's all in a different language too. I wish I could read it. I know this says pH bonder. <laughs> um, I think possibly it says pH. So I think that says pH. And this says X light, so LED. So I could read a little bit. <laughs> and this is your extend gel. What does it say? Bottle edition. And this is your non-white top coat. I'm so glad they sent this because I was running low. I was literally pouring my bottle to the side and scooping to try to get it out. And I thought it looked pretty tacky to do in front of my clients. So <laughs> I finally retired my bottle of that. Um, so yeah, this is the beautiful light. Which you press down, it is timed. If I had to assume the time, I can't remember. I think it could be one minute or 30 seconds. I think it's one minute though. And this is a beautiful padding, how they did that. And then this is where you would put your tips and everything. And it's funny, because if you ever watched one of my original videos where I went over the kit, I didn't know the top, top piece comes out. <laughs> so it was funny when I found that out. I thought it was so cool. So yeah, this is like perfect for travel or just for storage. Like I feel super official um, when I have this on the desk and pull it out, you know, for my clients. And they're like, oh, what's this? And I'm like, you're getting the Opry now. It's like, this is, you know, some good stuff. So you have the three slots on this side for your polish. You have this, I believe this section, I used it for my small light that they included in the last set, which I still have. Um, and you know, I might do a video. I thought of a cool idea to compare all of these lamps when you're doing gel X nails or just any kind of thing. Because, you know, I do have this. I have the mini one. I have, well, once I open the box, I'll have the Kiara Sky to compare. And then I have the um, XVX hands-free curing lamp. I also have the flashlight, flash curing lights from Enel Couture and Wildflowers. So maybe I'll do a video on that to show you how I would apply each one um, or what kind of results I get. So if you think that's a cool video idea, let me know. Um, I'm always open to suggestions from you guys, whatever it takes for the, to make sure that you have the right answers that you need for stuff to help you make decisions. Um, I also appreciate the people who tip share in the description box. There's a lot of you who will provide tips. I'm not the expert, so I appreciate, you know, tips. And, you know, maybe other people who are browsing the comments can see stuff too and learn different things. But this is beautifully crafted. There's not a whole lot to say here. Um, I think it's just if you, you know, if you're a collector and you want, you know, a different case, they have this. I think the Chon Legend case, I can't remember if that was gold. I can't remember what color his case was. I think it was gold but I now have the black one which I purchased this one was gifted to me which is cool and I cannot wait to like I said do this battle of the soft gel nail extensions kit because we are gonna go over everything just give me a little time to get my facts together but last time I printed up a table um, I think in Excel or on Word I made this table and I went through like literally price to ease of use beginner friendly the curing lights, what's included in the kit, to even down to the customer service, because that's big. You want to know who you're buying from um, and how they treat their people and how they handle issues. So for the companies that I do have feedback on or, you know, if I have had an encounter with them, I will share it with you. Um, but yeah, I this made my day today. <laughs> 
it made my day it made me happy it gave me the motivation and like energy to put out another video even though i feel tired a little bit like just i have insomnia it has nothing to do with just recording i have insomnia so i don't sleep that well um so yeah I'm excited for this though. Let me know if you got it, if you're planning to get it. This definitely, um, Opre did an amazing job. They brightened my day. And like I said, it was so cool to, you know, that someone saw what happened and, you know, didn't just jump right in and think I was trying to be a monster about the situation. Cause I'm not, you know, so yeah, with that being said, I'm wrapping up this video. Hopefully I covered everything for you. Um, I will try to include the information to the price point. I usually include links um, when I can of stuff. So I will include this information for you guys and I cannot wait to do the follow up with you. Um, the next video I'm gonna try to put out is the Kiara Sky video. I know a lot of you guys wanna hurry up and hear about it. So alrighty you guys, take care.